Hey, so we have an interesting one today, um, or this is like my third drop today, but we have a situation where this house here had uh, has fiber to the upper unit. My order is for the basement, and they have a drop going through a micro dump, which is uh, like about 14 millimeters of uh, diameter on the inside, and it doesn't really fit another drop. It can, but it's just really tight so my plan is to uh unplug the drop that they have and replace it with a double drop like they should have put in in the first place so i'm going to do that i'm going to cut it off and then use this to pull the new fiber in and then put them hook them both up and then put them back in service so that's the plan and uh see how it goes so this is the drop that i'm trying to replace with the double and it is completely seized in here. It's moving the whole socket. You can see here, I'm trying to hold the socket while I move it here and it's just not budging. So I'm gonna have to cut it and then use port four and five. Just won't come off. That's weird, I've never seen that before okay so to pull these drops in i'm going to use a method that i just actually talked about on another video i, I filmed let's get this up here so what i'm going to do because there's not much clearance in the conduit i'm going to tape string onto the drop Now they're end to end. Now I'll be able to pull it through, hopefully smoothly. Let me get this off of there. There we go. So yeah, that's the goal. Now I'm gonna go to that other end and start to pull. I didn't bring the cutter, but I have these. So I'm just gonna cut this here. Hopefully pull this. Oh. Why so tight? I'm gonna change the plans. Tape string at that end and I'm pulling it out. Okay, I'm back at the house, I have it taped off. Now I just have to pull it back. Uh, success. Okay, back in the tub. Finally able to get this thing out. Uh, hopefully I didn't damage anything. It was really in there. Oh man, what a nightmare. Gonna get this customer back in service as soon as possible. It's a nightmare for me. There we go. Okay, we're back at the house. 
almost done stripping the drop. I have to put the upper unit back in service. So I'll show you how to do a mechanical splice. So first things first, let me coil this up. Keep grabbing the raw. Secure that there, secure this here, here's the AFL mechanical end, so what I do with this is I get the ruby ready, and we want to make sure light's shining through both, as you can see there it's coming out, okay, do that for now. There it is, just this little thing. So, this is a double drop, so it's a little tougher. You wanna be careful when you cut it down. You don't wanna press it all the way down, you just kinda of wanna crease it like that. And cut a little bit more. There we go. Then you want to make sure you didn't cut any of them. Looks like we're good. Cut this away. Perfect. So blue is plugged into port three, which was previously plugged into here. So that's what we're going to splice back. I'll just slide this on now so I don't forget about it. There we go. Now we're going to the number two spot. We're going to peel that back and then it still has one more layer of cladding on it. There we go. So there's still a little bit of cladding there, but that's fine because it's going to get cleaved off. So this cuts it to the appropriate size. Put it there. And then it's cleaved right to the size it's got to be. So then. I get this on, the ruby on, and I'm gonna pop it in there. So this is turning into quite the headache. Um, I couldn't get a good reading and I was wondering why, and I deciphered so far that that port that was jammed looks like it's damaged. And uh, so now I have to go find the cabinet and switch over the port so that I can uh, provide service. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're back at the house. After a little bit of troubleshooting, I got it all sorted out. I don't want to open this too much, but I got the customer back in service. They're getting a reading of negative 14, almost negative 15, I think. Um, I did a, a reading. So what I had to do is I sent a ruby from here all the way back down the drop to the MPT and I put it into port five. And then from there, I traced it all the way down the road, a couple blocks to the cabinet. And from there, the ruby lit up and then I moved it over. I'll show you some pictures. Customers back in service and they're getting, I think a better reading than they did before. And uh, now the second pair is ready for the basement unit. And there we go. So uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was a kind of a headache for a while. I had trouble pulling through because I initially planned to pull the existing drop out with the second one in tow, uh, the double drop, but that did, didn't work. I could not get through. Um, I felt like I was gonna rip the box off the, the wall here. So instead I set up the spool at this end and I pulled it back to the tub with the string so then there was a string in the conduit and then i used the string which has obviously a much smaller diameter sorry less friction in the the micro duct so then i pulled the du double a and i stripped it and then that's when i started getting the issues but i'm going to go confirm service with the customer now and uh hopefully everything's good but yeah uh thanks for watching